Hi guys, so here is a intro video to URI management. URI management is how the website works to find all of the links. So if you're on a website, this site is just the URL, but once we start going places, you get the URI. So here is what I'm talking about, this part right here. So this would be a category page, and that's the whole URI. I go to product here, and this is product URI. So, in the past, before URI management, this was all just sort of done behind the scenes. And this part right here is the product code, and then this was an identifier. And it, again, the, the programming behind the scenes would take care of it. This is a category code again, and this, this part here is the code. So now, we're actually, we're actually concerned about the whole thing now, so we can do whatever we want. So the new way, the interface for it all is in here, and then down at URI management. And you can tell you're in URI management because of this part. You want to make sure it's on URI management if you're using it. You can ignore the legacy. The URIs is a database of all of the URIs. So how this actually works is that when the web browser goes to the page, it looks up the page, and then there's a database here of all the URIs in the whole place. And again, like I said, the URI is the whole thing, not just the code. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that when you're making products, it's a little bit differently. We already have the settings to automatically generate so that's good. And we can make these settings in whatever fashion you want. This site uses it in this array. So categories are just automatically going to get a template that looks like this. And the product says like this. So sometimes some sites just have like the word category there. And then URIs that are generated will start like that. But this site doesn't. So let's go check out how you see them. So let's go find a product. So we'll go into categories. Here's our products. Catalog. Okay, let's just edit a product here. So let's go to the first one. Now the URIs in the dot dots, here they are. Okay, so these are all the URIs for a product. Any one of these links will take you to this product. So this product has had some previous versions and they're all re redirecting here. This is coming to some uh, terminology here. So what you want to learn is that this word canonical is the real link for this product. This is what you want. 301 redirect to canon canonical is how you redirect old products to something more relevant that this is so that you don't have dead links. Let's go look and see what the other kinds of link are. So if I just go make a new one here, you can see that it comes up with something called normal. Now, this is not good. They use bad, I mean, the normal any normal person would think that normal is what you're supposed to do, but it's it's not. You're supposed to just ignore the normal one. Normal will give you duplicate content. You don't want normal. You only want to use canonical, and you can only have one canonical per product. The canonical is the one link, the one link to that product. You only want one link. That's why you don't have duplicate content. Anything else that's not canonical should be a 301. 301 redirect is the proper redirect ignore all of these. So if we could, we would edit this menu out to only have canonical and 301. But we can't. So I'll test you, I'll show you how this stuff works. Um, so you can edit any one of these you want, and again, because it's a whole URI, not just based on the code, you can put whatever you want. But let's test this out. I'm going to copy this out of here, and because it's a 301 redirect to canonical, if I paste this in, it should end up at this guy. So let's go here, view store, and I'm going to go and cut the last part out and paste in my URI. Now I'm going to hit enter, and because it's a 301, you can see that it's ended up at the canonical. So this guy right, see? So that's how those work. That's proper. So same thing for categories. So let's go look that up.
Okay. We'll switch him to active for now. There's a URI tab here. And this one, just this is probably more relevant to what usually happens, is there's only usually one. And if you double click there, we can go and see it. So again, to get to put the URI in, you just get every, have everything after the domain name, paste it in, and that's the link to the category. So say we had an, another category that we've just deleted and now we want to redirect all of its traffic here. You'd click add URI. To redirect somewhere else to this, you go 301 redirect and just type something in and it can be HTML the URIs the new ones always start with a slash or it'll give you an error see I'll try doing it and it won't let me URIs must begin with a slash okay other than that it doesn't really care again only one canonical per product or per page or per category Anything else is going to be a 301. Ignore all the rest. I'm going to save this and you can and we'll test it out. So I'll paste this in. You can see how this works. So say we were redirecting some other category to this because we deleted it and we want the search results and the traffic to transfer over. So that'll get you there. Just like this will obviously get you there. So we did products and categories and there's also pages. So you can see that there's a URI for each page. So let's go check out the basket page here and, and we'll see what that is. So if you needed to link to the shopping cart, you would go basket dot dot dots here oh sorry you were there there this time and you can see that the basket has one link as usual and it's basket.html copy that I'll test it works and there it is so that's how those work and that's how you edit them and those are the ones you want to use canonical and 301 now, if you're browsing your site and for some reason you can't get the links to work, maybe there is no URI. So I'll show you what happens. Sometimes when you're on the on the categories, and and sometimes for inactive ones, you don't get one for some reason. So let's edit this, and we'll go to URIs, and you can see there is no URI. When there is no URI, you'll get a, a link that looks like this. It's got the whole thing in there, okay? Also, if you're feeling adventuresome, go view source, so control U on this browser, and you can search for canonical, and the canonical link will have all of the merchant and stuff in it. It's just, it's just it, this is wrong, right? Like, this doesn't look right. That's because there is no URI. So everything needs a URI. This is an inactive category, so it doesn't really matter. But if you were reactivating it and you did have those weird things, all you need to do is add one and make sure you use canonical. And I'm going to give it usage info.html or whatever structure you want. You can even have like fake directories like old site or whatever like this will still work okay if you want to delete one for some reason things that don't work is this regenerate button doesn't do anything I don't know why it's there okay so in recap the URI management the whole thing is right here this is your database of all your URIs if you want to look anything up. If you want to do each by product or category, you just go to the product itself or the category itself 
and find the URI tab after editing it. Redirects take you to the canonical. Canonical is the real one you want. Hope that helps. That's the intro. We'll have another video which goes deep into it and explains how it actually works behind the scenes. But this will get you started, and this will be um, this will you know help people transition between the old system and the new URI management.